Good evening and welcome to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. I'm Jeff McCaldy. Tonight, Skip has on the show the very lovely Christina Crawford, who has brought with her to the show actor Peter DeLuise, director Lloyd Battisto, and playwright Gary Childress. And now, here he is, the man of the half hour, Skippy Low. Christina Crawford, producer. No. Yes. Don't tell me. Why did you turn to become a producer? Well, I found this wonderful play. Um, I participated in an awards program for college playwrights for uh -huh. the last seven or eight years. And every year I would go to the national conference and see the plays read, meet the playwrights, and participate. And it was very exciting. And then last year, this play, Animal Games. That's the name of the play? That's Animal right. Games. Animal Games, I found, and the playwright Craig Childress. Uh -huh. It was a one-act play with two characters, uh -huh. but there was something about the material, the people, and, and Craig himself, mm -hmm. that I felt was, um, it was just t too important to let go. So I went to New York, and I talked to my lifelong friend, Lloyd Batista, and asked him if he would be interested in, in working with the playwright on the material and directing it. And he is the director, Lloyd Batista. Yes, Hi, nice, nice to see you. Nice good. seeing you. You are from New York City? Yeah, well, yeah. You're well, an I'm, actor, though, I'm originally. A, actually, I'm from Saturn, Skip. No. <laughs> with a voice like that, <laughs> hey, with a voice <laughs> like that, you've got to be an actor. Well, I, I, that's what I've done most of my life. Uh -huh. All over the years, I've also directed and written, written some feature films and uh -huh. directed. And uh -huh. when Christina brought me this play, I also had the same reaction that she did. I thought it was a wonderful play. You know, it's uh -huh. funny, we talk about plays and, yes. and pieces of work that we work on. and. You're forced to use adjectives, and uh -huh. Christina just used one that I really think is correct. It's hard to talk about, a, you say a play is important, and not to sound pretentious about it. Yes. And not, I, I think both of us mean it's an important play, not in its ranks uh, with dramatic literature, but important in the way that in a time where so many pieces, films and plays uh -huh. are about the negative side of life. and. Uh, and violence mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the most negative sense. This is a play that talks about human values. Mm -hmm. It's wildly funny mm -hmm. and touching, and in a very real way, it's about surviving it's and coping with life, and it's a wonderfully, uh -huh. wonderfully funny play, and an important on that level, that it's about the humanity of human beings. You know, we, we wrote a kind of little catchphrase uh -huh. Uh, for advertising about the play that says uh, uh, an adult fantasy ah. about the mating customs and practices of an endangered species, <laughs> the human being. And then I, I mean, it, so I, mean, I put it in quotes and it's cute. And I see you got so your star here. Yes. I, got a, I got a hell of a human John being John DeLuise's son, I Peter DeLuise. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. I haven't seen you since uh, that other show we did with uh, Mamie Van Doren. Right, free ride. Yeah, tell me about the play. How did they get you? Well, did you? Uh, my, my parents are very good uh, friends with Lloyd. Uh -huh. And uh, I guess I was uh, right up there on the top of the list for uh, was young he really, men who could Was he really for right for the play? I mean, not just because of your friends. Yeah, come now on, let's, tell us the truth. Let's, let's, let's do it, Lloyd. I've been wanting to know this, too. <laughs> <laughs> the truth no, flew it, out. You know, it's well, funny. as a matter of fact, Christina, when she spoke about me, said, uh, my lifelong friend. Yes. And I must say that Peter is also a lifelong friend of mine. I've known Peter for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. The prepubescent area, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually knew him before he was born. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the ideal way to work on new material yes. is not the American way anymore. I think the ideal way is in a repertory situation where you've known people for years and worked with them uh -huh. so that you can have a shorthand that all those years has created for you when you're working on new material. Yes. So in a way, we've supplied that with life instead of uh -huh. work, that yeah. we've known each other yeah, for a long time. Of the communication of the relationship. Mm -hmm. yes. the Peter, the character, I understand you're doing a chicken. Yes, I'll be in a chicken suit for three quarters chicken of the play. Chicken soup or suit? <laughs> Suit. Okay, tell team. me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not in suit. Yeah. Tell me about that, Peter. Well, you know the costume and all. The that costume is I'm a mascot for a uh, a chicken takeout, 
Mr. Uh -huh. Clucky's chick chicken takeout. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I am forced through the situations of the play to, I'm, I'm, I'm found in the beginning doing my routine to get cars and customers to come into the uh -huh. restaurant. Uh -huh. And as it turns out, I end up uh, going home with a, a girl in the suit, mm -hmm. not having any change of clothes. Or she doesn't know who you are underneath that suit, is that it? Well, no, she, she, can, she, can she, see, she can see my, my beautiful brown eyes. I see. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and I'm, I'm stuck in the suit for three quarters of the play until I, you know, and change of, change of uh, scene, then I get to uh -huh. finally change my clothes. How many characters in the play? Now, in, in the rewrites and the expanded version, there are four characters. Only four? There's yes. only four. Oh, it's yes. very it's quite a wonderful. It's lovely. Yes. Yes, yes it's I very know. exciting. Who else is in the play? Who did you uh, Vonda Berra, uh -huh. who um, was on The Lucy Show for years and uh -huh. is a wonderful actress. Um, a man from Boston uh, who's been in the business for years and years, um, Robert Collins, uh -huh. and a lovely, delightful, talented young woman by the name of Cindy Iman plays Liz. You the, should see the her lead. sparkle. She is really? Really oh, she's, she's really, really wonderful. As a matter of wow. fact, <laughs> to, quote, to quote a young actor that I uh -huh. know, uh -huh. he said, you mean the heartthrob that just walked out of the room? <laughs> so, <laughs> Tell me, the play is at the Marilyn Monroe Theater. Yes. Tell me more about that. And Marilyn Monroe is at Lee Strasberg Institute? Yes, that's right, on Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh -huh. And um, it's in the very interesting uh, theater area for the off-Broadway Los Angeles uh -huh. um, uh, phenomenon that is happening in, in our city. Uh -huh. what, um, what I found when I was looking for the original place to produce this play is that right now, and I'm a native of Los Angeles, so I'm are. very proud of the fact that right now we have a better atmosphere for doing new plays mm -hmm. uh, in the Los Angeles off-Broadway So you're uh, happy with what's happening with the theater here in Los Angeles? It, uh, very much so. I mean, it's very much alive. There's a lot of um, new material coming uh -huh. in. I think that it's a wonderful opportunity for young people. When I started out as an actress, there were many, many um, avenues open. There was summer stock, regional theater, mm -hmm. off-Broadway, mm -hmm. and today uh, there are many fewer opportunities. I but see. Los Angeles, Equity Waiver is certainly one of the places. Uh -huh. We saw almost 500 people in mm -hmm. our casting calls. 500? Uh, yes, and Seven. Lloyd was so kind, every uh -huh. single one of them. Um, uh -huh. it, was, uh, it was a very interesting experience. So there was a lot of good actors out there. A lot of talent. Really good, talented actors. A lot of talent. Lloyd, yes. you're from New York. Now, really, yeah. what do you think of California? Now, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, the theater, well, Skip, I mean, she is really California. I have to tell you. Please. That you I've I'm prejudiced. <laughs> no, I no, 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 there is good theater. I've been here a little while. I'm well, from I New think, York. I think I'm that's what's happening in the theater here is very, very exciting. It is, yes. I think that you, you, you sense it happening in Chicago, uh -huh. in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. here, and I think it's probably most exciting here because there's so much ability and talent here. You have the pool of people that you can call on yes. is so much greater. Of course, we have uh -huh. a, a tremendous advantage in the fact that uh, we're also working in conjunction with the Carnegie Tech, Carnegie Mellon Alumni uh -huh. Association uh -huh. in, in conjunction with Christina's foundation. So that we have that... You mean the foundation of the battered children? Uh, the no, the, no. Um, the, for the playwrights. For the playwrights, yes. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. okay. uh, but when you put that together, the pool of resources of the people trained at Carnegie yes. as a center to begin from, if you put that in, con in connection with the talent uh -huh. that's here, uh -huh you know, uh -huh. looking for work, mm -hmm. it's really quite dazzling. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the open call on Saturday, we saw over 300 people. I see. And, uh, and the calls the days before that, uh, mm -hmm. now, the Peter, quality of ability was Peter, were you there when they had these calls? Did you have to read with a lot of people? I read with, with several people. Did you? Uh, several of the female possibilities and, and like that. Uh -huh. And I read when I was still a possibility. <laughs> now tell me something. Christina and Lloyd, what do you, when you audition someone for a play like that, what do you actually, when they walk in, is it the attitude, the way they're doing it, or how, what, what are you looking for? Not just the well, reading, I mean, I'll they may be giving you a bad reading, yeah, and um, they could be a good actress. We sometime. were looking for basic um, types uh, for the description of the characters in the play. Yes. 
that was what we started out looking uh, mm -hmm. for. Um, it changed, and Lloyd can tell you about that. We were very fortunate uh, to have a very close, good working relationship with our playwright. Yes. So he was here for all but one of the casting days. Mm -hmm. And as we saw people, and he saw people read, um, the casting actually became part of the creative process. And I, I, I think it'd be better for Lloyd to explain that to so you. One of the wonderful things about working on new material is that it is new, it's shifting, it's changing, it's yes. not locked in. So as we went over, as the days evolved, uh, uh -huh. and Craig could see how it was moving, mm -hmm. the young couple moved to the young side of their description. The yes. older couple moved, moved toward the older side of their description. Yes. And part of what I was looking for was a response to my requests. If I asked someone to make an adjustment yes. and they could you make it, that's that it. told me a tremendous amount. There were some people who, who did had a preconceived notion and they executed it very, very well. Uh -huh. But when I asked them to move away from the preconceived notion and to do something different for me, some of them didn't make the adaptation quite so well. Yes. And on a new play with a limited time of rehearsal, it's very important for someone to be able to give me what I ask for at yes. a particular moment. Basically, you want them to do their own first, and then when you ask, is that yes. and that's what the director is. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, good direction. To be able to take the direction. Good direction. Yeah. Yes. And yes. I actually didn't ask, answer your question directly yeah. before about Peter. Yes. I think that anyone in this business knows that there are too many chips on the table. Yeah. If Peter, and when Peter and I talked through this whole process, I said, Peter, I want you to come and read it. I see. This isn't so yours. It isn't locked in. Uh -huh. There's something that I think connects between you and this boy. But this is not your part. You've yes. got to come in. You've got to fight for it. You've got to show yes, us yes, on yes. every level that you can do it. It's so important to all of us that and if Peter he did. yes and he, he, did. Did. he did well that's good if Peter couldn't do it yes I don't care who he was he wouldn't Peter. be doing the part <laughs> Peter Peter Deloise I mean you know Don Deloise's son you've been around Hollywood you're from back east originally right, right? I came in here when I was three so Beverly I Hills High is that, no, is that, no 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 don't say Beverly Hills High what, what tell me about where <laughs> you go to school I mean you know you went to the school of well, Hard Knocks that's right it? where's Hard Knocks where at uh, Palisades Palisades that's Hard Knocks okay good. And I, I was just public, regular school. Okay. Special treatment. You didn't get no special treatment. No, the only, the only thing special about my last name is that it gets me in the front door. And then you get, okay, impress me. Mm -hmm. Which is, which is off, you know, it's hard How to How long have you been acting, Peter? No. I've never not been acting. You've always been acting? I, always, I never really? had a choice. I can vouch for that. <laughs> yeah. I never, From I, the first moment. He came out tap dancing. It was one of those. I, so, I see. You know, he said goo goo and he was dancing. Now what's happening with your dad right now? He is doing something He's in, in South Africa too, I understand. He's in South Africa. He's working with a man in a monkey suit. Monkey Everybody has animal suits on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me. In the family. <laughs> Did you start it? Do you think? <laughs> tell me about with this play. I think, I think it was his idea. Oh yes. <laughs> Peter, tell me about growing up with Don Deloise. What kind of a? I, I really. I asked Christine about her mother several times. But tell me about uh, growing up with a, a very very talented, funny man. You know, Don Deloise. Is he? Is he always funny around the house like that? Or what? Yeah, it doesn't turn off. He, he really does it from the set. No, he's just, just the same thing. You probably, you guys probably don't get, <laughs> you know, the better version. I get to see him all the time. Is he when really he's perfected on? the routine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Is that he turn the camera on. Is, a little is he really on all the time? Well, it's, it, you have to live, mm -hmm. you have to live the life to be Not but your mother. the, the tell type me, of person. Tell me about your mother. I mean, she's a My mother, she lady. sings wonderfully. Uh, she's, she's a good mother. She's a loving mother. She's uh, she's in the performing arts. She uh -huh. was in uh, Music Man with Dick Van Dyke. Yes, I know. A little while ago, mm -hmm. and uh, and both of them together, uh -huh. planting the seed. They made me. Oh, I, well, I didn't have a choice. I see. I just yeah, I brothers and sisters. Think. Two little brothers, Michael two. and David. Michael's got a series now, not because of his last name. He, <laughs> he went about five times. He went through you know uh -huh. uh, screen tests after screen tests, uh -huh. and he finally got it. And he's, uh, he's, he's out of school. You know, they just plucked him right out of school mm -hmm. to do this series. And my little brother David is an actor, too. Is this going to be your first play? No, this no. will not. I'm already equity. Yeah. I did uh, Brighton Beach Memoirs ah. at the Burt Reynolds Dinner Theater. Mm -hmm. I Florida. played Stanley in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was about a 500-seat house. Do you study? Do I study? With a, yes, acting, do you? Bobby Lewis, mm -hmm. Lynette Caselis, 
very good teachers. So, but Lloyd, what would you tell the young actors out there? I mean, they should prepare themselves when they come out to Hollywood or New York. But don't you think New York is the place for an actor to go first, Lloyd, than coming to California? No. I think they should prepare. Overdrive. New York is like overdrive. It's, I don't think. I don't think it matters where you go. I think it matters that you go and train. It matters that you go and work, and that's one of the dilemmas we're facing. Work at, at all times. Work. God is in the barn. The best right. thing for you is to go to a rep theater somewhere. The yes. problem is there aren't very many of them. Uh huh. To do as many plays Summer as stock you. Summer is like a thing of the past. That's yes. right. Yes. yes. And that's one of the great problems. Early. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it matters where you go. It matters that you work. That you work with people who better, uh, who are better than you are. Mm -hmm and that you uh, get training. I think also it's very important for people to get, uh, keep their mind open. Uh, you mentioned Minneapolis. Minneapolis is booming with theaters. There are mm -hmm. 125 theaters right now yes. in, uh, in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. there, are, there is regional theater that is very healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, as Lloyd said, the most important thing is to work. Mm -hmm. And you have to go, at least as a young person, where you can get work. Yes. Yes. And the, you immediately tell the difference in someone who comes in with an experience in the class they may be doing something in a chicken suit, mm -hmm. but if they've had the background and training, mm -hmm. their flexibility is immediately evident. I Lloyd, tell me something. You directed something in San Francisco, was it? Or, uh, no, there the was opera? something, the opera. Oh, I'm a, no, I'm me. going to do a world premiere of an, a new opera in New York in May. Yes. I worked on a couple of other pieces uh, of Ed's. That's Ed Dixon, who's been touring in Pippin. Uh -huh. uh, and he's out on the road right now, but he's a wonderful composer uh -huh. also. We did a musical on Broadway together, King of the Schnorrers. And you sing. I, you have to with that voice. That well, voice. I fake. <laughs> I sing, yes, I, well, yes, I fake yes, a lot wonderful. of everything, you know. Marvelous voice. So, but Ed is a fabulous composer, uh -huh. and he's uh, done a new adaptation of The Merchant of Venice called uh -huh. Shylock, which we're going to do in May in New York mm -hmm. at the York Musical Theater. And we've uh -huh. been working on that project for about two years. Oh, I see. And that's a wonderful Where are you project. originally from? New York? Or no, or Cleveland, or? Ohio, mm -hmm. which for many, many years was one of the great theatrical centers in this country, and it uh -huh. still is. The Cleveland Playhouse is the oldest rep company in America. I see. Lloyd and my father went uh, to the Cleveland. They were apprentices at the Cleveland Playhouse together. Oh, yes, Dominic came to Cleveland after he got out of high school, and he, was, uh, he worked as a prop man and as a uh -huh. makeup man and did children's theater uh -huh. and all that stuff that you do in training programs and theaters. Yes, yes, yes. And got a tremendous background at the uh -huh. Cleveland Playhouse. And when he was there in the theater program, I was still in the children's theater there. I still had two more years or so in high school. And that's where we met and we remained friends over the years. He went oh, back to New York. I subsequently went to New York and we uh, remained friends. But we met when we were still teen teenagers. Batista. Batista. That's a nice Italian name. Yes, yeah, A lot Italian. of Italians in Cleveland. Oh, great. You're Italian. <laughs> you're I'm Italian. Yeah. You better believe it. What nationality <laughs> Italian are you? Sicilian? Napolitan? Napolitan. Napolitan. I'm a Siciliana. And you? What are you? Uh, I'm not really sure, but probably Calabrese. Calabrese. My mother was Irish, uh -huh. and my father was Italian. So you're Italian. half Italian, half Irish. You've got yes. a good tint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Christina, I'm yes. going to ask you once again. Yes. Growing up with your mother, Joan Crawford, was it hard? Yeah, it was real rough. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the hardest things as I've gotten older is that I didn't learn uh, from her what I could have and should have learned uh, from her either as a mother, you know, the mother-daughter mm -hmm. relationship, yes. or even as a professional. Mm -hmm. I, I dearly wish that she had been able to share with me yes. the professional knowledge that she had. She was a brilliant woman and got in her own way. She could have done a lot more than she did. She had the right instincts, yes. but she got in her, her own way. And yes. unfortunately, I was, I was not able to get from her uh, the information that I wish that I could have, it would have saved me a lot of trial and error uh, uh -huh. learning. Uh -huh. yeah. But your book, accurate? I've got to ask you that question. Yes. Is it, is it accurate? Yes, yes. In fact, the movie, were you satisfied with the movie? Too? Well, the movie was different. The movie, they, they, um, they used the title, they used the characters, and they used some of the events, but mm -hmm. they changed the viewpoint, and so therefore they changed the story. They what do you mean by changing the viewpoint? I don't understand. Well, the book was written from the child's point of view, ah. uh, putting the pieces of the puzzle together as the child's awareness and, and um, um, ability to comprehend uh, increased. And um, that's what made the story very special, because we've all been children, and we all share some of those 
early feelings yes. and uh, some of the sort of generic memories of being helpless, being frightened, uh -huh. um, and needing somebody to negotiate the world for us. Yes. And um, that was the power of, of the book, Mommy Dearest. You know, I'm going uh, to do it on, on, on tape. On tape. Yeah, listen for that. pleasure. Tell me and, about that. Uh, it's going to be very you're interesting. Gonna read the book? I'm going to read the book. I've done the editing and. Um, I'm I'm very excited about being able to do it so because people out there um, can buy this. Attention. Yeah, very soon, very oh, nice. soon. Yes, yes, and I have to tell you. Are you I, involved with that? Too? I'm not really, except as a friend, and I've heard Christina read some of it, and it's quite extraordinary no, to hear her read no, that look herself. At me. Christina, look at me, friends. I mean, real friends or. Yeah, right. Christina and I? Yeah, come on. Is it serious? We, I mean, have, serious. we, we have come been. On. In and out of love through so many lifetimes, uh -huh. other than this one, uh -huh. and this one that so, that uh, so we are we are more than friends. Uh, so we, you are lovers. We are. We are I think we've been yes. everything to each other at any number of times uh -huh. uh, in our lives, and I, I know that that will continue. I mean, we. I she's very important to me, and I think I'm important to her. I shouldn't answer for her. She's yes. important to me, and she yes. has been ever since we met. And uh -huh. I've always had a, and I've had a <laughs> feeling before meet? that. How did you two meet? We were in college in Carnegie Tech oh. together. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Oh, yes. What a place. And I must also... It was beautiful. It was beautiful. And I, went, I graduated from high school when I was 16 years old, and I just barely turned 17. Uh -huh. Um, coming out of a very strict Catholic school, and one of the first people I met was Lloyd. Right. <laughs> you can imagine uh -huh. what, what an impression uh -huh. I, well, I I was a little older and a little nuttier. I hope uh -huh. I've become a little saner, but I must also <laughs> tell you yes. that this is one of the finest actresses I've ever worked with. People don't know that Christina Crawford she really is, is a good actress. Yes, in <laughs> fact, the co-producer yeah. uh, of this project who went to school with us, uh, we have set up a theater in Pittsburgh, uh, the Pittsburgh uh, Performing Artists uh -huh. Foundation, and Christina uh, came and was in the company. Yes. This is an actor. That is a good school, I must say. Carnegie Tech is one of the best, uh, one, uh, Northwestern Carnegie Tech. That's yeah. even, yeah. those are my favorite schools, that I think so, in America. Very good people, uh -huh. and uh, m many of us so you in class. Your you are, your yeah, and we're still together. It's uh -huh. like a family reunion uh -huh. doing this play. Christina. If you could have one wish right now, mm -hmm. could you tell me? For right. myself? Not the play, yes. For myself? Yes. What, um, you... That life would continue along the way that it is right now. Uh-huh. You seem very happy. Yes, I am. You seem I am. Very, I'm doing very exactly happy. what I want you must with people that I that you uh, really like to be around, sit around. Well, you. it's it's a joy to mm -hmm. be able in this world mm -hmm. to be involved doing what you do well yes. with people who are excellent. Yes, yes. Peter, how about a girl in your life? There is one, isn't there? Come on. Is there a, is there a young girl in your life? Skin. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> there must be some young lady out there in your life right now, isn't there? Steady. Sure. Yeah. She's sure. an actress. There's only way to go is really uh, deep Share with us, Peter. Is there someone in your life? What is this? Get the scuttlebutt while it's hot? What do you want? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? You are enjoying I Hollywood right now? No, no, no. Peter, tell me about Hollywood. I mean, you grew up here. Hollywood. You've been around here for a long time. Are you... Are you happy in, around here? In I'm Hollywood? very happy here. You are? Yes. I like that, that you can go and you can get in the erratic the uh, thing about the theater, uh -huh. and then you can, uh, and you can go home in your suburbial, say you live in the valley, and mm -hmm. you can be, and you can have a quiet time. There's no I cars see. honking and like Is that. it a quiet time in your life right now, Peter? I mean, when you're through work, and you go home? Uh, so I've, I'm hitting the pound in the pavements like crazy, you know, trying to find some serious work. You know, you come off of one movie, you gotta pound the pavement. See, he said something, serious time. work. Actors got to be serious along being even fun in with comedy, it, having fun even with Even in it. comedy, you have to be serious. You like to do comedy, huh, Peter? Oh, yes. Is that your forte? My forte is life. <laughs> okay. I yeah. love life. Your, life, your father life does that, funny. too. He loves, t he loves life. He loves He's sincere. Eat. Your dad? My father is sincere, and that, sincere, and that's what makes him funny. He has a childlike quality. A childlike quality. What is childlike quality? It's sincerity. A child doesn't, isn't corrupt. A child only knows what he feels. Mm -hmm. And he's sincere about his feelings, and that's what makes my father so lovable. What a fabulous! Isn't that a lovely line about yeah. his father? I yeah. think that's a delightful line, Peter. Mm -hmm. Tell me something about growing up with your dad. Okay. There must be some 
Was there ever moments? Well, my father at moments is around? very loud. <laughs> but he's Italian. Right. So that's acceptable. Right. I grew up with loud. <laughs> <laughs> How can you stand that screaming? What scream? You know, I, I never heard scream. I only heard, I love you. Only you know. I love you around yeah. the house. Don't run around the house. You'll go through the glass Christine. and break your neck. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. Christina, you didn't get that, did you? Christina, yeah, you did. They were completely different uh, situations. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's but I want to say that um, I think many people do not appreciate that comedy is actually extremely, Hate this. Hate this. yes, and it's very difficult to do. The people that do it so beautifully, like uh, Dom, uh, make it look so easy, so natural. And uh, I think in many cases it actually takes more technique and more training and more studying and more depth good of... Comics, of um, good comics are very, very dr good dramatic actors. Yes. Because, so make, it, because you have to understand a subject before you can make fun of it. Yeah. yeah. What do you true. think about that, uh, Lloyd? I have no comment. I mean, these people are being eloquent and articulate, and I don't. I have no need to make an editorial comment on what was said. Now, when does this play open? October 16th. Animal Games opens yes. at the Marilyn Monroe Theater. October 16th. October the 16th. Right. And that's your grand opening. Yes, yes. it is. And what day is that fall on? Thursday. Thursday night. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. You will. Thank see you. There. Thank you. I'm, I'm hoping that, that what you'll find mm -hmm. is a wonderful evening in the theater uh -huh. with many levels mm -hmm. very funny very fast that will also take you into a place where i think theater has something over some of the other more obvious dimensions of other media it yes. will take you uh, in a magical way to a place where you didn't expect to go yes you start in one direction and you end up somewhere else mm -hmm. it's a very funny human touching play about the values that I think we all feel that somehow we've lost in contemporary and modern life. Uh -huh. Marilyn Monroe Theater, that's at Lee Strasberg Institute. Mm -hmm. Is that the only little theater there? There's ever another one, isn't there? There are two other small ones. There are. Yes, but this one is uh, 99 seats, so it's the larger of them, it's and the, the one that's used now, why for... Did you, why did you pick Lee Strasberg? Oh, like I, we asked. We, well, it's, I mean, it has its own kind of um, reputation and prestige, mm -hmm. and they also read the plays before uh, they allow you to book mm -hmm. the theater. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, I think it's a very good situation. Great. We're finished. We're out. Thank We're off you. The air. I think we just brought what we need. Thank you, Skip. That was very good. Oh, punk man. I wanted to talk.